Hello everyone. Uh, I'm glad to have Mr. David, our solution architect, uh, today with me to discuss the uh, uh, Drado V6 architecture and the shed light on the key secret of Drado V6 uh, all flash array architecture. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Asher. So today uh, we are discussing about the architecture of the Eduardo, which is, by the way, is well designed and uh, it uh, represents the latest technology and the leading world of the, uh, the new technology. So first of all, we are discussing about the uh, active, active uh, symmetric architecture about this uh, overall hardware design. So as we have uh, the architecture of Drado V6 in front of us, what are the key secrets here? Well, uh, good question, actually. For this architecture, which we can see, the mainly design of this uh, whole concept is about the full mesh, symmetric, active, active, active architecture. Uh, you mean we have load balancing across all uh, controllers. Here we have eight controllers. And also, not only controllers, actually is layer by layer load balancing. Mm -hmm. Meaning that each one of the components should be interconnected to the other component also. Uh, so the disk uh, array enclosure has full connectivity over high speed network, 100 gig RDMA with the controllers. So yes. there is no LAN ownership and the all controllers can see the disk. Exactly. They can discover the disk. So what, what's the advantage of having this type of uh, connectivity and the shared architecture, distributed architecture? Well, the first the key uh, advantage for this you avoid the single point of failure, mm -hmm. meaning that every component should be uh, have the full capacity of the reliability. Okay. In terms of active, active, then this active, active. That's why I'm uh, just now I mentioned about the layer by layer. Meaning you can see this architecture from the from down to the top. Every layer will be like a full redundancy with the active, active. Uh, you mean it's a full shared architecture yes. so the front end board and the back end board everything is shared because you know this one it's connected everywhere yes okay? so the same port has the same connectivity with the four controllers exactly. correct this is for the front end and even for the back end yes you're right okay and this is of course will do for the same yes exactly. and uh, across the two enclosure we have 100 connectivity, 100 speed connectivity. Yes, okay. for the interconnection between the two uh, enclosure. Uh, what about the cache? How many copies here we have uh, for uh, each data? Well, see, for the, for the cache, we have like a global cache. The, the, okay. ca the cache will be shared into the, the, the overall so the system. So the resources are shared? Yes, resources okay. are shared. And we have three copies. Okay. Three copies. Across two different engines. So yes. even we can tolerate failure of one engine. Yes, and one more thing, when you have this shared cache, two things will be achieved. One is the best performance. So when we talk about the global cache, meaning that the cache will be shared into, the, uh, into all the controllers. And this is will improve the performance. You yes. mean now our performance is 20 million IOPS? It's an amazing number. Yeah, uh, and by the way, the latency is just dot uh, one millisecond. Yes, which is a very amazing uh, number. So from reliability perspective, how the three cache copies uh, will improve the system? Well, it's because of this uh, shared uh, cache. Then first of all, if you boost the cache performance, mm -hmm. for sure, because it will leverage all the controllers' the computing power. Secondly, about the reliability also, because the, the cache data will be also shared, then they, they will be avoid the single point of failure. Uh, okay, so we can tolerate, uh, you know, seven controllers out of eight uh, uh, controller failure. Because of this architecture, we can see we call this architecture as the smart matrix, meaning that at the uh, one time at the same time that the seven controllers fail, uh, we can be a tolerance for this. And uh, currently in the industry, no one can achieve this. Okay, you just mentioned the computing power. We have computing power at the disk enclosure level, mm. so it's yeah. a distributed. Uh, architecture, distributed uh, uh, battery machine uh, and the computing. Yes. So there is CPU here as well embedded and the, you know included in the disk uh, array enclosure mm -hmm. with, with memory. So some of the functions, okay, like uh, the 
the uh, the duplication and mm. the compression uh, will be implemented and the processing at the uh, disk enclosure array. That's why we call this di uh, disk uh, enclosure to be a smart. Yeah, the meaning is a smart intelligent because we can share the load from the controller to this uh, enclosure. It's like offloading. Offloading, exactly. Uh, and we have end-to-end -end NVMe. Mm, yes, exactly. Yeah, because you know the connectivity for the front end based on fiber channel or iSCSI, okay, fiber channel up to 32 gigabit per, per second. True. And in the back end, we are supporting RDMA and Rocky. Which is, by the way, 100G. 100G, yes. which is very high speed. Uh, any point you want to add, uh, Mr. David? I think for this uh, architecture, which we call uh, the latest uh, architecture, we call smart metrics, it will boost the overall storage system performance as well as the reliability. Fantastic uh, feature, I think. Thank and, you very uh, much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thank your time. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. David.